I'm Pat Gunn, and this is part of my Let's Play series for Fallout 4. And here we continue with the last video where we are going to follow Dogmate <coughs> and see where he takes us. I should warn you that this video involves a whole lot of just running with the dog, which is kind of fun. If you've ever had a dog, one of the joys uh, with them, or at least a, a proper dog, by which I mean mm. like a non How long must super tiny dog. Here. Search around, see if we can pick up the trail. San Francisco sunlight. Dog meat pick up the scent Kellogg's again. preferred brand, all right. But yeah, if you've what ever do you ever had, uh, had a Enough proper to go dog, on? then they really are a lot of fun to, to, uh, to go running with. Uh, dog meat. Uh, there you go. So, off we go. Let's go, dude. I'm not sure if running near a railroad would be all that fun, because as you can see, there's a whole lot of stuff to trip on, stuff to get your leg caught in. And certainly after having played uh, Life is Strange, I'm a little bit more weirded out about getting my foot caught. <laughs> Although I suppose it's not like in this game you would be particularly likely to see... Uh, So it's really a bit more of an abstract, just weirdness. But, but the fact remains that running near uh, a rail, uh, railway, railroad is not necessarily a particularly great idea. Okay, then. let's go. Is that? Oh, looks like there's some light over there. Doug Meat is taking us down some stairs. So he's following the trail of Kellogg. So we find ourselves Ooh. here. Like, there used to be a raider here. There used to be a turret here. Oh. Bloody bandages. Dog meat can track this. Bloody bandages. Okay. We gotta stick together, pal. At least until we find Kellogg. Okay, boy. Let's track him. Really is a good looking dog. I'm not really sure what brain fungus is good for. Oh. Oh. Not too much danger to us. Ooh, hello. Okay, well that's kind of fun. We got a, a leg that reduces falling damage, but the thing is we already have something so much better from that earlier super difficult to make video of hopping our way up to the long fall legs or free fall legs or whatever they're uh, called in this game. Anyhow, running with a dog, lots of fun. Strongly recommended. For some technical reason, it's hard to uh, do leveled monsters in a quest like this, or maybe they want to make sure that it didn't become too difficult to proceed along the main quest line. I'm not sure. <coughs> so we're going down some stairs, but we're also now back in find clues <coughs> mode again. Whoop, oh, so is there a trap somewhere nearby? All right, the dog needs found something. You know the drill. A decoy, huh? Clever. Yeah, I guess having a decoy if you're trying to sleep is probably a good idea. 
sure if it would really save you, but it might at least slow any attackers that you might face down a little bit. Maybe. Not really sure. Attention, assailant. Lower your weapons immediately. Tracking known mercenary. Exercise extreme oh, caution. Here? What have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. Just tell me where Kellogg went, Tin Can. Identity of assailant, Kellogg. We're still on track. Looks like Kellogg is good enough to wipe out a cell phone. So he probably had some similar results. What is going on there? Think I'm scared, huh? How many bullets I got left? Shit! Need your nose to track Kellogg, boy. Come on, move it, dog meat. Move it. Where are you going? Wait. Oh. Yep. Keep going. <clears throat> it's a little bit weird uh, to imagine. We don't really have a good idea how many days it's been since Kellogg uh, took off. Oop, and there we go again. What do you think, boy? Huh? Was this our man? So apparently Kellogg was probably bleeding. I guess that's just one thing I don't know about the sense of smell of dogs. And, uh, and dog meat has taken us to... Some kind of a fort that is sealed off. Is this the place? Huh? Is he in here, boy? I knew dog meat would sniff our man out. Let's you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. Okay, so unfortunately we can't go in that way, so we have to find an, another way in. So let's do that. We'll circle the building, see if we can figure something out. Well, let's see, there's some stairs going up here. Oh, hello.
don't think I've ever entered Fort Hawkins from this direction before. Proceeding creating nicely. <laughs> we are getting a little low on health, so let's boost that up a bit. Take a look at that terminal. Puzzles. Somewhere level four. What kind of looks it? M-U-T-Z-Z-L-E-S. Jungles is possible. Got it. Yep. Okay, let's ask it to open whatever door it can open. Come on, finish up. Say the word. Always out of way with machines. Sweet. They had no expense, did they? Okay. I don't need that. Oh, there is an elevator. Going up. See where this will take Going up. up. floor. And that may be the normal entrance. Anomaly detected. There you are. There you are. Yeah, if it isn't my old friend, the frozen TV dinner. There's a hideout. Let's think about this. This nice. place has two entrances. It has very good guards. It's not super obvious that there's anything at all in the place. Yeah, I, I this Sorry, your house has been a wreck for 200 years. But I don't need a roommate. Leave. Yeah, not gonna happen. 
who stole my kid. And I would very much like to have him back. Never expected you to come knocking on my door. Gave you 50-50 odds of making it to Diamond City. After that, figured the Commonwealth would chew you up like jerky. Your attack was unsuccessful, and now you must die. So long, pal. Be warned. I cannot allow these attacks to continue. Door won't open. Keep moving. Look, you're pissed off. I get it. I do. But whatever you hope to accomplish in here, well, it's not gonna go your I'm way. Beginning to describe it, I'm afraid. Your assessment. I haven't seen that before. Not even sure I've ever seen it in past games. Oh, you're gonna need that soon. Let's go straight. Keep on bumping up that carry weight. The strong back is really a great perk. At least for somebody who does settlement stuff. And this looks like a uh, medical area. Probably for the soldiers that once lived here. Well, no accounting for taste. Hall. This is a pretty big facility. You got guts and determination. It's admirable. But you are in over your head in ways you can't possibly comprehend. Detected. Don't underestimate us again. Stop. Turn around and leave. You have that option. What can I say that? Master turn. Hmm. That's it. Oh. First try. Always nice. why somebody would pick a master lock and then not pick a novice lock nearby, is it? Maybe they look in and decide they don't need the ammo or something. I don't know. Oh, hello. Well, don't really need a fat man, but... <coughs> Maybe you can imagine that in time for the war,
this looks like probably where Kellogg was staying. Yes. And notice the style of this box. It's not really like something you see anywhere else. Okay. Way. You made it. I'm just up ahead. My synths are standing down. Let's talk. And also this cabinet. Also, it seems to be of a style that you don't see elsewhere. Came a long way. Let's hear it. You murdering, kidnapping psychopath. Give me my son. Give me Sean. Now! Right to it then, huh? Okay. Fine. Your son, Sean. Great kid. A little older than you may have expected. But I'm guessing you figured that out by now. But if you're hoping for a happy reunion, ain't gonna happen. Your boy's not here. God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker! Where is my son? What's the cliche? So close, but yet so far away? That's Sean. But don't worry. You'll die knowing he's safe and happy. A bit older than you expected, but ah oh well. At least he's in a loving home. The Institute. The Institute? Well, I'll find him no matter where he is. Nothing will stop me. God, you're persistent. I give you credit. It's the way a parent should act. The way I'd be acting if I were in your place, I like to think. Even if it is useless. But I think we've been talking long enough. The audio for that line seemed to clip. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? In a hundred years, when I finally die, I only hope I go to hell so I can kill you all over again, you piece of shit. Okay, so this little trick is good. Fort Bacon is under instant authority. Get in for it now. You can catch the distortion where he is. You were barely yeah, human. Nice hurting anyone else. We should take a look around. Get all the intel this place can hide. And so this is the reason why some of the equipment around here is distinctive. It's Institute Technology. Nice. Battles are won with fists. Wars with wits. So we'll use this password. We can open the doors, and we have a little bit more information that we can talk with Nick about. So as an institute operative, apparently Kellogg had access to a lot of technology. So, that Kellogg wasn't here. giving us any bull. Your mm -hmm. son really is on the inside. Sure. Uh, Mr. Metal for Hands doesn't know how to get back to the factory? No, I skipped that part of the orientation film while they were busy pulling me apart and putting me back together again. <sighs> we're in the weeds here. Time to take a step back. 
Bring in some fresh eyes. Only person I know willing to snoop up the Institute's tail feathers is Piper, the reporter in Diamond City. I say we head her way. Talk this through. Diamond City it is. Hey, chin up. I know the night just got darker, but it won't last forever. Okay. So let's finish looting the area. And then we can head out. So we've gotten everything from Kellogg. We've looted everything that we really care to from uh, from the Sense Patrollers, or almost. And I think we're ready to leave, and we open the door so. So as unfortunate as, as this all is, and as it represents a bit of a setback, at least we have a lead now. Everybody but me has short-term teleportation. His coat really seems to have seen better days. And his gun. somewhere to be. I'm trying to follow these guys. move a little bit faster than we can walk or run. 
Unfortunately, we're pretty darn fast swimming. This is where they ended up. heading to Diamond City to talk with Piper. And I think that's where we're going to leave this. Public with a K occurrences. Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? I, uh... I didn't make it in time. Kellogg was working with the Institute and he... He gave them Sean. 
I've lost them all over again. The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. Kellogg. Huh. What about him? He had to have a way in. We can talk to him. Feel like holding a seance? Yeah, if only. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't gonna talk. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari. There's no way that could ever work. <clears throat> Stay with me on this. We get a piece of Kellogg's gray matter and take it to Amari, then we- Jesus, Nick! Gross! Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? I'm gonna need a really sharp ice cream scoop. I'm sure you'll manage. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the- I have to go to the memory den either way. If... It's you and me, Nick. Let's get going. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. While you two are out, I'm gonna... And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. I want to hear how this whole story got started. Uh -huh. Okay. So we have this... Most folks are just looking for a hand. Kind of disgusting plan of taking the brain matter and bringing it to... Even the good scanner. people do crazy things when... So let's get to it. And they're scared. Back to good neighbor. Good neighbor. Lowest place in the Commonwealth. Everything not nailed down rolls through yeah. here at some point. Brotherhood of Steel. Better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. That's actually an interesting question. I'm not sure that they would, and I suspect that any attempt to make them do so would probably inspire a gigantic bloody conflict, because they're not exactly the well, people who take well, a no very well. Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about the Lomi. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Remember, is this the way downstairs? No, that's the way to the bathroom. Is this the way downstairs? No. Uh, oh, maybe it's back here. Dr. Amari? Yes. Wait, I know you. You're in the railroad. What's this all about? Doctor, it's time for you to reverse death itself. What? Uh, I wouldn't have put it quite that way, but it's true. We need a dead man's memories. A guy named Kellogg. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Technically, the corpse was defiled already. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Could you say that like Dr. Frankenstein? Igor, fetch me the brain! <laughs> Sorry. No, I will not. Now, do you have it? 
here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I... So... Possibly. But there's no way to access the memories... You're talking about me, right? I'm... There could be long term. Don't bother. We should try plugging you into a toaster next. Hmm. Fresh toast. Uh, it's nice to know that even when I'm about... Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your body's functions will be bad. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Hell yeah. Tell me you have... Let me think. We load both. He'll act as a host. Sure. Nick and I are gonna share... Yeah, if a smart mouth was all it took to solve problems, we would have found your son by now. So, um, as much no. as that's meant for humor, you that won't have to worry about that. Really kind the of only memories you'll access are the ones in the character. implant. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there. See you okay. on the other side. So, we're gonna brush through this. This is largely telling the tale of come up, the life and times of Kamal. Okay. And I will leave this for you to, ex uh, to hear about. Initiating near, brainwave uh, migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. Largely it's degenerated, so but it's content. there. It's not We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be it's stable. Just hold on. So I'll try and summarize it. Basically, come up in a fairly uh, uh, abusive, uh, abusive home in the Can NCR. you hear me? Stab ah, good. His mom the simulation to appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. Certainly, he didn't have a. I'll try to step you through the intact up. memories and Anything hope we find one really the only that gives us some clue to, to the institute's location. Good results in life. And he saw a whole lot of things in life where we This is like the earliest intact memory you can find. Now the whole point of this is intended to be to provide a, a way to track. Turn down the goddamn radio. Uh, Dad was either drunk Remember, or not around. Experiencing these memories I guess he must have run with one of the raider this gangs. But disorienting at first. I never really knew what he did. This doesn't seem to be. Don't know why mom before. was with him. There on, appears to be another intact memory close to you in a temporary sequence. And having a kid. There. Let's keep he looking. From them that I'll connect you to the next intact memory. And does as best as it had, despite feeling that it doesn't really fit everything in your life. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? You took a job that ended up... I found <laughs> another <laughs> memory to track. You thought I'll you could just fuck with us. Them. And we wouldn't fuck with you. He ends up sticking, staying alone for the rest of his life, and just doing more and more mercenary work as he travels eastward across the continent. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. I don't remember much from that time. Well, it we all kind of blends Try together. <laughs> there was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. And then finally, he gets so curious. I'm glad you decided to meet with from me. the Institute because so, they got annoyed you're with the Institute. Interfered with some of their I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. He ends up getting warmer. In the One of these has got to tell us something. And then we are running getting, out of brain here. Uh, becoming employed by them. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. And you might remember this. Suspended. 
I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving her alive. That's me. I understood that. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I found I'm not saying I haven't memory. done it, but uh, whenever you're ready. I never liked to. But it was better. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. So there he is, with what looks like your son. Kellogg. It's okay. There's One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. Yeah, cool. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Neat background. Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. If anything like this had ever happened before, I've never heard of it. Maybe a sign that the old man was losing his grip. Finding someone in the glowing sea wasn't going to be any picnic. I never expected an Institute egghead to give me so much trouble. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Okay, I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this. Before. How do you feel? Next time I have to watch someone's life story, I want popcorn. Well, if you're cognizant enough, mm -hmm. are you? There's more than one person. I didn't know Institute scientists could. Where did the memory say? He... Uh -huh. That's why he's there, to make the inst. That must be it. He's using the radio. If Virgil found a way to survive. Mm hmm. Oh, I'm going in naked. Fingers crossed, I get superpowers. I know you're joking, but as a doctor, I feel obligated to remind you that unprotected radioactive exposure will only kill you. Dead. So be sure you find a way to get through there. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Okay, so that's pretty much we get out of them uh, what we get out of our memories well out of Kellogg's memories hey Valentine hope you got what you were looking for inside my head <laughs> I was right I should have killed you when you were on ice you want to try for round two huh let's go what what are you talking wait were you just playing a joke on me? I guess that's for you to wonder. Anyway, I feel fine. 
We have to head. Hmm. I'm a synth, so that or you could buy up all the rat. Let's get going, Nick. Been one heck of a ride so far. Let's see where it takes us next. Well, actually, electronics and radiation are not a great mix. I'm not sure how they uh, how it compares to humans, but enough radiation would be enough to kill any real machine. Although maybe, I mean, we know that radiation in the Fallout universe doesn't work quite the same way as it does uh, in the real world. So. <coughs> Yeah, that's our next uh, our next thing to do. We are asked to go and find Virgil somewhere in the glowing sea. But since we have Nick as our companion, we have a few other options. Uh, but for now, let's head back to Red Rocket, where we can unload and prepare for whatever next adventure we choose to do. Hassington is under attack. Well, we will take care of that real quick, actually. Maybe we'll just stand things there instead, because that's a perfectly fine place to drop stuff off. that our uh, is here are pretty good if, if that's, uh, that's the way that things worked out. Looks like it was both cameras and uh, and a whole bunch of insects. Well, I'll take care of wrapping all the rest of this stuff up from here. Uh, in my next video, I will decide what to do, whether I want to continue the the weather would make more sense to uh, go and do Far Harbor next. Bye-bye.